Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Fleming and today I'm going to be doing the Small Water Systems Training Module by Lagos Filtration Solutions. So here we go. So today we're going to be focusing on our residential water well systems and our residential municipal water systems. Hopefully these separators here look a little familiar to you. On the left side, you have our Sandmaster Plus SMP, and on the right side is our inline separator products, which is the blue one is our ILB, and on the right side is our ILS, which is stainless steel, and the blue ILB is carbon steel. So our separators are for light to heavy loads of sand and sediment. They're not recommended for organics. Uh, that's lightweight material that might float in the water as well. Not gonna be recommended for that but they are easily automated. Uh, they make it so there's very little maintenance at all. How the sand separator works. So, like I said, little, little to none uh, in the maintenance area. It's very easily automated. Uh, there's no screens to clean or replace, no moving parts to wear out. And there's a low and steady pressure loss, which is important as well. And in the picture you're gonna see on the inlet, that's where the sandy, heavy sedimented water is gonna be going in. And then it's gonna be centrifugally forced down uh, and out to the sides. And then um, it's gonna be collecting in the purge chamber on the bottom. But then with that centrifugal action, you're gonna have that clean water, as you can see from the diagram on the right. It's gonna be going up through the center and out the outlet on top. So installing a Lakos sand separator. So any pump guy might tell you not to place a filter between the pressure tank and the pump and the right because a clogged filter could put significant back pressure on a pump and burn it out. However, the sand separator is not a filter. So it's centrifugal action performance can't be clogged to restrict flow through the unit. The worst that could happen is that the separator's collection chamber becomes full of sand and any additional particle matter simply passes through the separator. But the real reason to install a sand separator between the pump and pressure tank is because the sand separator depends on flow for performance. After the pressure tank, only on-demand water flows through the piping. That may not be enough flow to, to allow the sand separator to perform. So when the pressure tank drops in pressure and triggers the pump to turn on, the pump's full flow passes through the separator and allows the separator to do its thing. So here we have some different options. Uh, we, there are four models of Laco sand separators for low flow applications, and originally only the ILB series was available, but then the Sandmaster separators were added to offer a more economical option. Uh, first the steel model, then the stainless steel model. Inside the Sandmasters, the internal components are injection molded plastic. The outer housings are offered in two materials because of the varying corrosion issues around the country. Simply put, some waters are more aggressive. It, uh, the all steel ILB and its stainless steel counterpart are also available, but often applied for only longer service duty applications, such as irrigation and process water. However, all three can serve the residential water well systems. So this goes on to help you with model selections. When you have a customer come in and they need help, uh, the Sandmaster series is great for the single home residential wells for applications that use pump that pump water from the well directly to the home. The ILB ILS series is more industrial grade and they're designed for up to 150 PSI. They are great for applications with higher solids, extended pump run times, multiple uses, home landscape irrigation. So they're a little bit more robust in that way. So if you're having a customer that's doing a lot of irrigating around their home, um, and their home, then you're going to want to go with the ILB and ILS. But if they're strictly only going to be needing to clear out that sand from their um, pump to their home, then the SMP should do just fine. So unfortunately, sand doesn't just disappear. It does collect in the ILB or the SMP's purge chamber, and it does need to be purged every so often, depending on the sand situation that your customer is having. Um, manual purging is subject to human forgetfulness, so that's why automation is very important. It's uh, maintenance-free and uh, you can see here on the picture where it's being purged out, uh, valve, the valve should be open occasionally to purge a community sand grit, and that's where it leaves out of the separator. With this picture here, you're going to be seeing that this is a SMP, and it's between the pump and the pressure tank, just like we talked about earlier. 
Um, and it's just kind of showing you the setup and how we recommend. Um, we do recommend having a manual purge before the auto purge. So then if you do need to have a replacement for your auto purge valve, you can go ahead and shut that valve and you can start doing it auto, um, manual purging while you're getting that repaired. So that way then there is no routine downtime or maintenance and the manual valve allows for easy servicing, like I said, without interruption and short purge duration, little water loss like we talked about earlier. So that does end our slide show for today and our training. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned just a little bit about how our ILBs, ILS, SMPs can help your customers. And I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Bye.